What's up guys, Dlips here. Today we are going to be doing a complete Outback defensive guide for all three of the main objectives. So we're going to be doing laundry, piano, and then party, office, and then of course green bedroom and red bedroom. I'll give all five operators you're going to need and then go through what you need to do with each respective operator. We're starting out here on laundry piano. First operator you're going to need is cap can. First entry denial should go on the window in bunk. And then your second and third entry denials can go on the back entrance door. It's just such a, a common spot for the attackers to come in from, so it's good to have all blocked off and then your fourth one can go on the door that heads in from mechanical bull into games room your fifth and final one is going to go on the doorway from shark into terrace and now we're going to get on to what cap Ken is going to be doing throughout the round throughout the round we're going to have cap Ken hold down piano he's going to be the one anchoring this side of the objective second operator we're going to need is mozzie just make sure you place your pest down in all the really important spots in the map where there could be high drone volume so stairs is good drone holes are good and next to doorways are perfect as well now mozzie is going to be our roamer here so he's not going to be stationed down on the objective i'll typically have him roam down in first floor somewhere on this mezzanine side of the map and then of course you can rotate all the way around the garage you can rotate all the way around over here green stairs or garage stairs and then when you're needed you can get back into objective third operator we're going to need is Cade. Cade, of course is going to be anti-breach so he's going to be in charge of reinforcing this wall and bunk and then placing his electro claws on it like so so that's perfect now Cade is going to be in charge of holding it down in laundry in here so this is where he's going to be anchoring as opposed to Capcan, who's anchoring in here in piano so we have piano covered down we have Cade covered down of course he can also rotate into bunk whenever he may need to he may need to electro claw trap in case they're actively breaching so it's best for him to be on this side of the objective fourth operator is going to be thorn she's a trap operator so she should place her razor thorns in all of the main spots that the attackers are going to come in from so this window is one that comes to mind quickly as well as the window over here in bunk and then your third one can go on top of these stairs as well now thorns deployable shield should go in between the door from bathroom into bunk this is just an extra line of defense because thorn is going to be holding it down in bathroom she has the 1.5 scope so she's going to be able to hold this long angle here as you can see she's able to perfectly see this barricade which is just probably the highest volume point that the attackers are going to be coming in from the entire objective so having someone hold this down is really really important so she's going to be holding down bathroom keeping that line of sight on bunk now we're going to need some health and some support so doc is going to be our fifth and final operator make sure you have the bailiff equipped so that you can make a rotate hole in between laundry and piano as well and doc does have an indestructible camera so i'll place one right in front of the breach here just to help out just in case they do breach through then we have eyes on them we're able to actively scan them you know be able to see where they are at all times and doc of course is going to be another anchor so he's just going to be holding down objective now we're moving on to party room and office first operator we're going to need is mira in office go ahead and reinforce that left side of the soft wall here you're going to be placing your mira on the left side and then using some shotgun holes to make an opening on the right side of the wall now what this basically does is now open up all of stairs and so now the attackers this is basically going to cut off this entry point for the attackers entirely they may try it and they're going to fail and so they're not going to be able to come up garage stairs at all you'll see throughout this objective that we're really holding down garage really really tight so this is just the first step to holding it down now with your shotgun you can of course make a rotate hole in between the two objectives and then your next step as mira is going to be reinforcing the three leftmost walls in party room you'll see we're actually placed our black mirror here on this right reinforcement here and now we're going to make shotgun holes to the right of that on the soft wall and this is going to give us control of mechanical bull which is another room that we're going to be holding down as tightly as we possibly can throughout the course of this objective second operator we're going to need is castle go ahead and place your first proximity alarm on garage stairs now it's very unlikely that they do push up garage stairs but just in case we want to make sure we alert everybody around second proximity alarm will go right over here on top of shark stairs we'll put our first two castle barricades here right in mechanical bull on the window and then also the door our third barricade is going to go on the left side window of garage and then our fourth one is going to go on the right side window of garage perfect so that's all of castle's barricades all used up and all of his utility now castle's going to want to use his super shorty to make a little tiny rotate hole in the corner of this soft wall over here this is going to be a rotate hole for castle because he's actually going to be holding down garage so that's why we have the mirror set up over here while we have the proximity alarm while we have all the castle barricades and we're going to actually have an operator holding it down actively throughout the round and if things get a little bit tough then castle's gonna have a way to get back into objective quickly just right on through this rotate hole over here bandit is gonna be our third operator he is of course anti-entry so he's gonna reinforce and place a shock wire down on this wall here you'll see attackers sometimes try to breach this you know get it open and then get control of the objective so this will be an important one to hold down so i like to have bandit start the round roaming somewhere around here in reception typically i'll have him leak out here into garage if they have someone trying to push garage then he can of course help 
help out our castle down below, but most of the time we'll have him rotate back all the way around through here, just to make sure that first floor is all kept under control, and then I really like this rotation back up through mezzanine or shark stairs here, and then he can have a nice long way back into the objective, or he can just go right on through terrace, back through piano, and you know, someone's pushing through games, then he'll have a nice little flank. Fourth op is going to be Valk. We'll place our first Valk cam up here on this little spotlight in Mechanical Bull. Our second one will go in games on top of the projector, right on the light kind of following a, a similar pattern here so and just go ahead and place your third cam somewhere here in garage just to help out our castle and of course our roamer as well now the point of these cams is going to be very heavy on mechanical bull side and as you know we already have the mirror set up here on the soft wall so we are holding this down really hard the two main soft spots on this objective which makes it really hard to defend are garage and then mechanical bull as well once attackers are able to get a hold of these two spots then they are able to really easily get inside of objective and so that's why we're holding these down so hard so we will have Val holding it down a mechanical bull throughout the round and she'll have the cams there to help her out as well And she should also reinforce these soft walls here just to give her a little extra layer of support Last stop we're gonna need is Legion Make sure you place your goo mines around the really important entry points and all the doors in the objective He is a trap operator and his goal is to slow down the attackers and that's exactly what he should be doing Now Legion's actually gonna be holding it down in office here Primarily Mira is going to be on her black mirror over here in party This is pretty much where she's gonna be holding it down here in the party objective and Legion is going to be pretty much stationed over here in office. So if you remember, we have the black mirror set up right here on this left side of the wall and then the holes on the right side. So Legion is going to be tasked with holding down office in here and then of course being able to subsequently check on garage stairs through this black mirror as much as he can. Now we're moving on to green bedroom and red bedroom. Smoke is going to be the first op we're going to need. He should make a rotate hole in between the objectives first and then he's actually going to be holding it down here in green bedroom. I'll place my first barbed wire here at the entrance of green bedroom and then and my second one over here at the entrance of red. And like I said, Smoke is going to be holding it down in here in green, so he should reinforce this wall here, and he is going to be preventing the attackers from entering the objective, so he'll be holding it down back here in this corner, throwing his smoke canisters whenever he may need to, pretty much just keeping green bedroom secured for as long as he can. Cade is going to be our second operator. Of course, Smoke just reinforced this wall, so he should place his first electro claw here on the top of the soft wall, and then he's going to go ahead and reinforce this side wall in red bedroom, and then subsequently use his electro claw here as well. He can also reinforce this front wall, but it doesn't get breached very often, so he doesn't have to worry about wasting an electro claw there. Primarily the wall he just reinforced before this, and then the wall that Smoke reinforced are the two really important ones to have. Now contrary to Smoke, Kate is going to be holding it down here in Red Bedroom, so he can get in the corner there and prevent the attackers from getting in. So we have our two anchors set, and our third operator is going to be Warden, and Warden is going to be our roamer. So first and foremost, he's going to head upstairs and get the hatch that's on top of the objective. This is of course a really important thing you're going to have to do. Warden is going to be our roamer and he should primarily be hanging out upstairs so that he can rotate around, flank wherever he may need to. I think the best flank rotation move is coming down shark or mezzanine stairs and he has this nice little flank you can go in and head through hotel hallway and then go into reptile and then he has a clear shot if someone you know some attacker is rotating through reception or maybe they're already in reptile hallway they're not going to see the flank coming from Warden. Rook is going to be our fourth operator. Of course he is some health, he has some support so first and foremost he's going to place down his armor and he does have proximity mines so he's going to place his first one right on this wall here in reception this is just a really common spot for the attackers to push in from so having this proximity alarm here is going to make sure everyone around knows that they are pushing in from here and that's going to help out our roamer warden as well and then for our second proximity mine we'll place it back here on back entrance again for the same reason that we placed our first one in reception and rook of course isn't going to be doing any roaming he is going to be anchoring an objective we do have smoke set up in green and we have Kate set up in red so if you want to have Rook chill in bathroom a little bit, rotate between the two, then that's perfect. Pulse is going to be our fifth and final operator. Now, like I said, reception is a very common spot for the attackers to push from, so we are going to have Pulse hold it down in here. He can make a rotate hole in between kitchen and reception just so that he can get in and out if he needs to and then rotate around. But he's going to be holding it down in here for as long as he can. He can use his cardiac sensor to deny people coming from garage or from outside or whatever it may be. And then I have shotgun equipped, but it might be good to have the UMP 45 equipped because this might be more of a long range kind of fight but either way i don't really think you can go wrong and then you may be needed to get back into objective in case the anchors are falling so you can get back in and then you are pulsed so you have the cardiac sensor to deny any vertical push as you can see there is a lot of soft ceiling here and our warden can only do so much denying the vertical attack so our pulse here is going to be able to help him out as much as he can that's why i had the shotgun equipped but you of course do have your c4 as well so you can deny the vertical from underneath so yeah that'll do it thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed go ahead and
ahead and press the playlist, it's on screen now. For more Rainbow Six Siege tips and tricks, map callouts, other site setups, spawn peaks, funny moments, pretty much anything imaginable related to Rainbow Six Siege, I probably have a video on it. But besides for that, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.